I have Usborne's advent calendar here today. We have number two for December 2nd. It is the dinosaur who lost his roar. Let's read it together. Deep inside the forest lived a dinosaur named Sid. He always got in trouble for the noisy things he did. Spike was picking berries and Sid crept up like a cat. He let out such a mighty roar that Spike got covered. Splat! Uh-oh. That wasn't funny, Sid, growled Spike. The juice went in my eyes. Enjoy your breakfast, Sid replied. Who else can I surprise? Ross was standing by the pool to see what he could catch. When Sid let out a mighty roar, poor Ross went tumbling. Splash! I hope you liked your swim, Ross. You'll dry out in the end. That wasn't funny, Ross replied. I thought you were my friend. Sid saw Ellie hunting eggs. He sneaked behind her back. He let out such a mighty roar. The eggs went flying, crack. An excellent surprise, laughed Sid. You just can't beat my roar. But when he went to bed that night, his throat felt rough and sore. The next day, Sid saw Spike again and went to play his joke. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a croak. Ha <laughs> ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Ross was balanced on a rock. Sid went to scare him off. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a cough. Ha <laughs> ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid tiptoed up to Ellie, but struggle though he might, no roar would come out, just a rasp. His throat felt oh so tight. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid spent a whole week getting well with honey and sweet tea. Oh, I wish I hadn't played those tricks. Now the joke's on me. Soon, Sid felt fit to see his friends. I'll show them I'm not mean. But when he reached the berry bush, Spike could not be seen. Ross was missing from his pool. Sid sensed that things weren't right. He spotted scary footprints and they gave him quite a fright. Sid was getting worried. What would he come to next? Then came a shock beyond the rock. Tyrannosaurus Rex! <gasps> Sid hoped he had his voice back, but how could he be sure? He took the most enormous breath and gave a mighty roar! Looks like it worked. The T-Rex headed for the hills. Sid's pals were safe once more. Three cheers for Sid the hero. You're the greatest dinosaur. The end. Thanks for reading with me. If you want to see what comes on December 3rd, make sure to subscribe. See you later.